an act of passion. Vengeance, justice. Injuries are revenged. Crimes are avenged. Success would be the best revenge. All the old knives that have rusted in my back, I drive into yours. Revenge is like a stone which man hath forced up a hill, will come down with a grace of violence and break one's bones again. Thou didn't reject me. Well, I still live, but thou, thou art dead, and thy head belongs to me. Hell hath no cure in thy own scorn. Scorn? I will not leave you until I have seen you have. Beware the man who must return your punch. He won't forgive you, or let you forgive yourself. Oh, Behold, our wrongs with vengeance wait, and art subdues the straw. Before beginning a journey of revenge, you must first dig two graves. Something of vengeance I attained, and it gave me the sensation as if I had poison. Poison! Justice belongs to those who claim it. Revenge is a wild card. Vengeance is mine, thus saith the Lord. The heavens will be revenged of every ill. Nor will they suffer murder unrepaid, for evils the evil's conductors be, and death's the worst of resolutions. These words, these deeds, become your person well. Now, Knight Marshal, be joyous with your king, for tis your son that wins this battle's prize. Long may he live to serve my sovereign liege. What means this trouble? <laughs> uh, it tells me that your grace's men of war, such as war's fortune, has reserved from death. Come marching on towards your royal seat to show themselves before your majesty. This is a gladsome sight. I'm pleased to see them here. This is the warlike prince of Portugal that, by my nephew, is in triumph held. It is, my liege. Prince of Portugal. But who is he on the other side that holds onto his arm as partner of the prize? That is my son, my gracious sovereign, of whom my thoughts did never hope but well. He never pleased his father so till now, nor filled my heart with such overwhelming joy. And now it pleases us to confer and talk with our brave prisoner and his double guard. Geronimo, it greatly pleases us that in this victory you have a share by virtue of your worthy son's exploit. Bring here the young prince of Portugal. The rest march on in kingly gratitude. <laughs> young prince, although your father's hard misdeeds in keeping back the tribute that he owes deserve but evil measure at our hands, know you that Spain's hospitable. The trespass my father made in peace is now controlled by the fortunes of the war. And cards once dealt, it boots not ask why so. His men are slain, a weakening to his realm. His color seized, a blot into his name, and his son distressed, corrosive to his heart. These punishments may clear his late offense. Aye, Balthazar. And if he observe this truce, our peace will grow the stronger for these wars. Meanwhile, You'll live, though not in liberty, yet free from bearing any servile yoke. For in our hearing, your exploits were great, and you are passing gracious in our sight. And I shall study to deserve this grace. But uh, tell me, for their holding makes me doubt, to which of these two are you prisoner? To me, my liege. Uh, to me, my sovereign. Uh, this hand first took his war horse by the reins. So at first my lance did knock him from his horse. I seized his weapon and enjoyed it first. But first I forced him lay his weapons down. Let go his arms, you two, at my command. Say, worthy prince, to which one did you yield? To him with courtesy, and to him by force. He promised life, as this one threatened death. But, truth to say, I yield myself to both. Will you both accept my judgment? Well, I want no more than your grace awards. Well, nor I, even if I must forgo my right. Then by my judgment thus, your strife shall end. Nephew, you took his weapons and his horse. His weapons and his horse are your reward. Horatio, 
You did force him first to yield. His ransom, therefore, is your valor's fee. And that just reward may fit your merit. To you we yield the armor of the prince. But, nephew, you shall keep the prince in guard. For your state, best matches such a guest. Horatio's house is small for all the strength. How likes Don Balthazar this judgment? Right. Well, my liege with this proviso, that Don Horatio bear us company, whom I admire and love for chivalry. <laughs> Horatio, leave him not who loves you so. And now, let us hence to see our soldiers paid, and feast our prisoner as our friendly guest. Here he comes, that murdered my delight. Sister, what means this melancholy walk? That for a while I wish no company. Here. The prince has come to visit you. That argues that he lives in liberty. No, madam, but in pleasing servitude. Your prison, then, is in your head. Nay, by my heart my freedom is enslaved. Then with head and heart, release yourself again. But well, what if my love pawned my hardest pledge? Pay what you borrowed, and recover it. Oh, I die for return from where am I? A heartless man, alive, a miracle. Aye, love can work such miracles. Hush, hush, my lord, leave off this word, play and in plain terms. Acquaint her with your love. What boots complaint when there is no remedy? On your gracious self must I complain, in whose fair answer lies my remedy, on whose perfection all my thoughts attend, on whose aspect mine eyes find beauty's bower, in whose translucent breast my heart is lodged. Alas, my lord, these are but words, of course, and but a means to drive me from this place. Oh, madam, your glove. Thanks, good Horatio. Take it for your pains. Signor Horatio, stooped in happy times. I reaped more grace than I deserved or hoped. My lord, be not this made for what is past. You know that women oft are humorous. These clouds will scatter with little wind. Leave it to me, I'll blow them away myself. Now, let us devise to spend the time in some delightful sports and reveling. <clears throat> the king, my lords, is coming hither straight to feast the Portuguese ambassador. Things were in readiness before I came. Then it fits us to attend the king, and welcome hither the ambassador to learn of my father and my country's health. See, Ambassador, how Spain regards their prisoner Balthazar, your viceroy's son. We pleasure more in kindness than in wars. Sad is our king, in Portugal events supposing Don Balthazar is slain. So I am, slain by beauty's tyranny. You see, my lord, how Balthazar is slain. I frolic here with the Duke of Castile's son, wrapped every hour's with pleasures of the court, and grace with favors of his majesty. Put off your greetings till our feast be done. And now, come in and sit with us and taste our cheer. Come in, young prince. You are our second guest. Sister and nephew, come and take your places. Signor Horatio, come and wait upon our cup, for well have you deserved to be honored. But where is Geronimo, our knight marshal? He promised in honor of our guest to grace our banquet with a pompous jest. I am here, Lord, ready to entertain. And now, lordlings, come in. Spain is Portugal, and Portugal is Spain, and we are both friends. Tribute is paid, and we enjoy our rights, but welcome are you to the best we have. 